Yo, what's good, y'all? Check it out. So, this is gonna be my review on this hot sauce right here. You know, um, I've been waiting for a while to talk to people about this. So, uh, since the new year started, uh, I said to myself, I can't uh, hold this any longer and because I wanna let everybody know about my favorite hot sauce and this this is my hot sauce right here like i i can't let the year start without me letting you guys know about this hot sauce that that i eat here in my house so as you guys can see right here this is called the mary sharps belizean hot sauce habanero pepper sauce so let me tell you how i got introduced into this right quick so <clears throat> the first time that i ate this sauce was back in 1998 so um as i told you right now this sauce is um from belize and belize is a country that's right next to Mexico and Guatemala. It's a small country, probably like the size of Miami or Miami-Dade County, something like that. You know, it's not a real big country. And um, it's right next, like crossing the border from uh, Yucatan, Mexico, and, and right next to Guatemala. It's right there by the going to Salvador, you know, but it's right next to Mexico, like right under Cancun, uh, crossing the border. That's the first country you'll see, and then you'll see Guatemala. So uh, as you can see, that's the picture of the lady that made this sauce. And um, like I said, this sauce is from Belize. So the way that I, I got introduced to this is one of my family members, um, met a person from Belize so when we used to eat with that person he he um brought this to the table and you know me being Hispanic uh, I love eating my food with hot sauce almost every food that I eat has hot sauce um, I like Mexican hot sauce American hot sauce but mostly I eat Mexican hot sauce because those are my favorite also but this one here tops the best you know tops my my best favorite one it's just something about it like it's so delicious you know that's all i could say like since the first time i tried this sauce i was hooked on it as you can see it has the habanero and it also has the seeds there's like a seed right there you can see it so it's like it's it's not even that process i think it smells so good i don't know it's just like the first time i tried it it had like this explosion of super good flavor like you could taste like vegetables like right out it's like you're eating vegetables right out the bottle but with like a, a kick of spice it's not super spicy it's something you could handle but if you eat it like rapidly it starts accumulating on your tongue and then it starts burning like the more you eat quicker that's the thing about it like i feel like the seeds carry a lot of spice in this um yeah like i i put this on almost everything even even pizza slices when i have pizza uh i like it with uh rice chinese food mexican food um chips uh, when I when I eat it with chips, like I, I eat it with like some hot Cheetos, and I put this sauce on it, and then I put lime on top, and when the lime, you know, dissolves the <clears throat> the chili powder from the hot Cheetos, and then it mixes it with this, it tastes so good. It tastes like a, a new a new level of flavor with hot Cheetos. You know what I'm saying? You guys should try that. You get the regular hot Cheetos, and you put some of this sauce. And put some lime on there or it tastes like kind of like if you're eating like a pico de gallo spiced up hot cheetos you know what i'm saying um 
back in the early years, let's say like in the early 2000s, uh, we we have like plenty of these around our house because um, the person from police will bring it. But now it seems like it's it's getting harder and harder to find these around here. I don't know why. Maybe because we moved um, from the area that we used to live at. But you could find these sometimes in some Walmarts, but not not all the time. But I just um, right before this video, I was watching um, on YouTube about this hot sauce, and I came across now they have a website where you could order all type of. Um, hot sauces from this brand and they have way more than than what I thought of they had you know but this is the original one here this is this is my favorite one here it smells so good um open this right quick look at the you could like see like raw vegetables in there tell you the truth I'm not gonna lie We'll shake this up for you guys right quick. You can see the seeds. Look at that. I'm telling you guys, you guys, if you see this around, get yourself some of that. It's so bomb, you know? I can't I can't go a day without eating this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, let me give you an example. Like, you know when, when you get some real good bud and like you get the, you see the bud and you're like, wow, this, this looks amazing. It smells so amazing. And then you put it to your nose. You put that bud to your nose. And you start smelling it. And you're like, you wish you could smell that all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? That That's the same thing I get with this hot sauce. Once I smell it, I smell those spices, the, that lime and the fresh vegetables in there. I could smell that all day. You know, because it's like a super strong peppery vegetable. Um citrus like it's, it's just like so delicious you know what i'm saying like, that's all i can say like you guys gotta try this pick this up you know i'll show you the back of this and that's the uh it has like a little story about the lady she's from belize um mary sharp this, this bottle when you see it at walmart they usually go like from around like five to seven dollars a bottle you know, but you're, you're going to get some good quality hot sauce right here. Like, um, they have the, the mini ones too, like you could, um, the travel ones. So when, when I, we used to go to restaurants with that person that I told you from Belize, we'll sit like, like at a table, like at a Mexican restaurant or like a steakhouse or Chinese restaurant. And, and he'll, he'll always carry like those little bottles with him everywhere we used to go eat. You know, and like sometimes he'll come out. Um, we used to go to Bayside, um, Bayside in Miami, because we used to live uh, over there, around there. And we used to go to this um, Kajun Chinese place that's on in Bayside, you know, the one on the second floor. And we used to order our food, and, and um, he will always carry the, a bottle like this and, and, and use this instead of their hot sauce over there, you know what I'm saying? He's also like hooked on this sauce. Like I have this bottle here because he brought this bottle here to the house. Um, I rarely see it, but I know I'm, I'm always gonna, I always have this bottle here because that person, he, he loves this sauce just like me. And um, he always has it here. Um, I, I went to the website today and um, I, I was trying to sign up and I'm gonna order a bunch of uh, bottles. Uh, from all the other kinds that I've never tried. Like they have like pineapple, mango, cactus, and I seen they had like jelly and jam, you know, from that company. And they have like a bunch of new sauces, like the smoking, smoking ones are like made from like, there's uh, the peppers are smoked and then they're made into the hot sauce, you know. I, I never knew they had all those other types but I'm I'm gonna try them for sure you know what I'm saying but yeah I just wanted to let you guys know and start off the year uh, you know and tell you guys about this hot sauce pick it up uh, I've been wanting to like get um like the mini sizes 
I'm gonna see if I get some and like pass them around to my friends so they could start knowing about this salsa right here, this hot sauce right here. Um, I think this is my number one favorite. And the other one, it's the, um, the Yucateco. El Yucateco, that's the Mexican hot sauce. Uh, and I've been wanting to do a, a video on that one too. So uh, I think that one's coming soon also the Yucateco uh, video review. And this is my little review here for this Mary Shark right here. Let me see. Um, made and exported by Mary Shark's Fine Food um, Central Belize. So they, they send this all the way from Belize and I think it goes to North Carolina. And from North Carolina, they distribute it around here. And, and you see like, what I like about this, that it's not a lot of process it's right here in the nutrition facts look the ingredients it has one two three four five six seven eight eight ingredients now that's awesome right there you can barely see it because they're like in tiny letters there but i know i know from what i found out that if you get a product like this that has less than 20 or 15 ingredients, those are the best type of um, products you could get because you're getting more uh, natural products than, than processed stuff, you know what I'm saying? You don't want a, a big old list of ingredients that you don't even know what that is, you know? So they got like red habanero peppers, vinegar, carrots, water, salt and onions, and lime juice and garlic you know that's so simple like and they made this super delicious sauce with just like seven eight ingredients you know they have the picture here with the ingredients you know but i really taste that lime citrus like mixed with like pepper seeds and it just like bursts like with a huge explosion of flavor you know what i'm saying that's that's all i i taste most of the time uh, let me tell you guys, this right here is so bomb with some with some lasagna. You go to one of those pizza places, like over here we have Mamma Mia's, and you get some of that real Italian pizza or that pasta on the, you know, that uh, manicotti, the manicotti from the from the pasta restaurants. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You add some of this when it mixes this with the tomato sauce from the pizza and the spaghetti and all that. It's so, so bomb, you know? I, I gotta give props to to this lady and, you know, to her hot sauce. It's so, it's so awesome. Like, you know, I've been eating this since 1998. That's more than 15 years that I've been having this in my house every day. You know, they have... This is like the regular one, but they have like spicier ones and more mild ones. Now the milder ones have like uh, other ingredients like mango or whatever, but uh, then they have one with the black label that's a little bit more spicy, but this is spicy enough. This is like the regular stuff, you know? Uh, if Only if you don't go overboard, you'll be okay, but this is, this is so good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah, I just want to show you guys this right here. Pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Mary Sharps. Gotta give it up to the Belizeans for this one. You know? So there you go. The famous Mary Sharps.